Yeah, so I guess we'll just start with your name and where you're from. Okay, well, my name's Natasha Punt, and I'm from Pembroke, Ontario. How long did it take for you to move on? I never really moved on. <laughs> There a letter? And they're like, uh, no, there's no letter, but your name's engraved on the ring. Oh, wow. And they're like, he was wearing the ring. So I had to get questioned. This was in, yeah, this was in Ottawa. And this was taken during the summertime with my exchange student. Um, I met Cody when I was going to high school. I started at Jean Lajoie in grade 10, and uh, I just ran into him at school and we hit it off. The kind of relationship that we had was like more like a best friend kind of relationship. I don't know, we cared about each other a lot. We did a lot of sports together. Um, I don't know, we were together all the time. The plan was for me to attend prom with Cody actually. And then I ended up breaking up with him about a week before just because I felt like if I was back at home while he was gone to college, he wouldn't be able to live the full college experience and have fun with having me tied, tied down, or having him tied down with me back at home. After Cody and I broke up, he actually attended his prom um, by himself. And then um, a couple weeks after his prom, I found out that he was dating this girl that we went to school with. I'm not going to say her name or anything, but um, he moved on fairly quick from what it seemed. He ended up going off to college and uh, he seemed good, like I kept him on Facebook and we kept contact and um, I hadn't heard much from him though but I did see pictures on Facebook and he seemed happy. Ha hadn't gotten any text messages from him since about August and then on the morning of November 22nd, 2011, I actually received a message from Cody that morning. It was really weird what he texted me. Um, the message said, uh, hey Tash, my hands are cold. And it was really strange. Like I hadn't heard from him since August and I had no idea what that meant. So um, I asked him like, what's going on? And he said, my hands are cold, I'm waiting for the bus. And I replied to him like, put some mittens on? Like what are you doing? 2.30 that afternoon, I was just getting out of school and I got a call and I looked at my phone and it was actually Cody's dad and it was so weird to hear from Cody's dad because I hadn't heard from him since I, start, since I stopped dating Cody. So I picked up the phone and his dad asked me how I was doing and asked me if I had heard from Cody and I replied, yeah, he actually texted me this morning. Cody's dad ended up calling the police and put on a search for Cody. Um, I didn't know that at the time, but uh, Cody's dad was out of town, so this is why he was asking me if I could actually go check at his dad's house to see if Cody's car was there. Maybe he decided to come home for the night. And I went to check at Cody's house. And when I arrived there, I pulled up to the house and I saw Cody's car. And I looked to the left and there was a police car and an ambulance there. So I ran up to the house and all the blinds were closed so I tried to look in because the cops weren't letting me in. And um, the officer grabbed me and pulled me outside of the house and he said like we're not letting anyone in at the time like this is not secure. And I said like I, all I want to do is talk to Cody like please just let me in. He said we can't let you do that right now brought me out again and then I knew something was wrong when he wouldn't look at me in the eye so I just looked at him and he shook his head and he said he's, he's gone.
I got uh, this tattoo in memory of Cody. So he was born in 1993 and he passed away in 2011. And um, I got wings because I found they signified like angel and he also had tattoo of wings on his back. Um, this tattoo, it says take your time, don't live too fast. Troubles will come and they will pass. It kind of, it really describes well what I've been through and I, uh, I think that um, it was just perfect and they're actually lyrics of um, the song Simple Man and it was weird because the day before Cody passed away his girlfriend of the time told me that they had they had a conversation together and he said just out of nowhere like if I ever pass away I want this song played at my funeral and that was the day before he passed away so Obviously his girlfriend had no idea what was going on, so she's like, okay, like, sure. Just small talk, and uh, the day after he passed away. Mama told me 